that lying nigga, all this shit, it's more that meets the eye when it comes to Ron Savage with this man by the situation. Bottom line to it is, that man, like I told people in the beginning, Ron Savage is Kaiser Saucy. He's dangerous. Mm. You don't see that nigga doing the twitches and the ticks no more. Mm. Here's a master manipulator. Wow. He's a master manipulator. That nigga allegedly got that bag and that law that came into play, he disappeared. I'm not surprised. He disappeared. I'm not surprised. Yeah, he's still trying to pursue a rap career and everything like that. Like, give it up, my nigga. Give it up. Man, wow. it's hard. Ron Savage got to understand something. Some people was just hard to look at. <laughs> and he is super like Ron Savage is one of the ugliest things <laughs> that, God, that God created. It's hard to look that nigga in his face. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> gonna never watch that nigga channel. That nigga is oh, hideous. Oh shit! <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Oh. If my wife pushed that ugly nigga out of her vagina, I would push that nigga right back in. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, son, I wouldn't claim that. Oh, he oh, oh, needs no. some milk. That shit ain't mine. I ain't claiming it. Take a blood test, and the blood test come back. That nigga's mine. I'm punching the doctor in the face. Oh, oh, oh that is hilarious. I'm a good daddy until you can vote for something that looks like that nigga. I think it looks, you do look crazy. <laughs> no, man. I take him retarded, autistic, all that. But looking like him, no. That's the one line. Me and God will have to have a conversation like, what dogs, why you do me like that? You do me like that. Me and God would have to have an argument like, why would you do me like that? Mm. Look at that nigga. Right, right, right. <laughs> He's trying to force people to like, share, and subscribe to his ugly ass like dogs. Mm. I say that. I don't really like judging men, but all of us men know there's a nigga that we don't want to look like. Nigga. Wow. I have no confidence in my ability to get a woman looking like that ugly motherfucker. I, hold Life on. is hard. Yeah, he, he, he got some screws loose. I, you know, there's, there's video footage of him on TikTok twerking and all types of shit. Like, I don't know what's going on. Wow. Over. He need to get himself together. Wow. And, and see, I wouldn't even be dragging a nigga like that, but he want to play with me. Mm. He wants to play with me. Always dating them goddamn young girls, chasing them young girls and giving them all his money, all his book money. Then when they don't want to give him no milk and cookies, he want to sit up there and play the suicide role. Every other week he on Facebook trying to kill himself. Wow. Because until unless he buying up some, unless he paying for the ass, he don't get it. Wow. I, I'm not surprised. I mean, look at his face. You got, you got, you got to come up with something, God damn it, because ain't no bitch ain't giving him nothing for free. Man. Uh -huh. That nigga look like a big bowl of diarrhea. <laughs> shit. Hey, 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 hey. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Sorry, you want like to roll that. right now. You want to roll right now. Yo, that is hilarious. But you ain't speaking up with truth, man. And I'll let the judge niggas either. But, yo, I mean, sometimes you got to call a spade a spade. Because that nigga. Man, like if I, yo. I, to look like that your whole life? Mm. To look like Ron Savage your whole life? Right, right. And I thought that was tacky. Like, your name came out of the blue yesterday. I don't know if you tuned in. I doubt you tuned in. But if you did, uh, um, Sanetta was being super messy yesterday. Started sneak. He ain't sneak this. He said your name, put your name in the mix and shit like that. That's when Ron Savage came and said, I don't watch him anymore. I haven't watched him. Oh, listen, my whole thing is like this, right? I'm a conceited nigga. May God forgive me. I'm conceited. Like, I don't think about Sarnetta. I don't even really want to talk about the nigga like that. But it's like, being that you're talking about me, I'll, I'll, I'll say your name one time. Like, dogs, it's over for you. He hate to see, he hate the fact that he see me winning. And no matter what them niggas do, the niggas that rock with me, the people that rock with me going to keep on rocking with me. There's nothing like me on YouTube. I created a lane. I, it's like Lily said. You nigga, you created the dirty section. You done got up on YouTube and showed niggas that a nigga that come from nothing could become something without an education. Wow. 
And now I got all these gang bangers, all these different niggas. Like, they don't want to say it, but they keep my name in the title because they want my spot. Absolutely. This dude's on YouTube way bigger than me. Facts. This, this dude's on YouTube way bigger than me. Why y'all making me say their name? I was watching a show last night by the name of Sonetta, right? He was, I was watching Sonetta's show last night. And he brought in another fucking loser on his show. Yes. Ron Savage is a fucking loser. But it can marry Ron Savage, B Stinger, you are a fucking loser. You were not a victim of child molestation. You were a willing participant. Hey, no, hey, Somebody no, gotta hey, say this no, shit. Hey, no. Somebody gotta say this shit. Cause if, if I don't say it, nobody else gonna say this shit. Huh? And personally, I don't believe that Africa be about to touch that ugly motherfucker. Hey, no, hey, no. That nigga ugly as shit. Shit like that. I don't understand how a motherfucker would want to touch that nigga. That nigga look like a straight animal, nigga. Huh? That nigga look like an animal, god damn it. Something straight out the goddamn rainforest, you beak-faced, bucket-head ass nigga. Huh? You slow ass. Encrypted ass nigga, my nigga. Somebody gotta say this shit, my nigga. Huh? You were not molested, B Stinger. You sit back and let all these platforms take advantage and use your slow ass. Huh? And I'm glad the hater be allegedly uh taking your punk ass to court. You scary ass phone recorded ass nigga. I don't trust a nigga that's gonna record anybody phone call, goddammit. You a snake! Hey, no! Hey, no! Hey, no! Hey, no! That nigga allowed us, that nigga allowed that fuckboy, son that a TV, to use him for content. We all know that uh, son that the numbers are in the toilet, goddammit. That nigga desperate for content. That nigga digging way in the bottom of the barrel for content, nigga! Disclaimer. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowances made for very useful purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringed. All right, so he, he went lot he went he did an upload today. Um, and this is what he had to say about me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man, what up? It's your boy Ron B. Stinger Savage. You know what I mean? Shout out to 050 the movement. You know what I mean? My man China Brim. You know what I mean? Harlem legend and the whole crew. Yo, check this out. This nigga, you know, the bartender for the Die Nation, he had the audacity to try to come after my bro. You know what I'm saying? China Brim. You know what I'm saying? Now, he hopped off my balls and now on China Brim's balls. You know what I'm saying? What he's trying to do is get mad subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, let me tell you something. You and the Thai Nation crew, all y'all niggas, man, all y'all niggas is corny. You know what I'm saying? And y'all leader is a, a mega liar. And, and 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 especially this nigga the bartender. What is it behind behind a bar? What are you giving head behind a bra, nigga? The fuck? Yo, all y'all niggas, all y'all niggas do is lie. That's it, man. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't never heard of the Die Nation crew. <laughs> Yo. I ain't never heard of that, yo. Yo, until y'all niggas started that shit, yo. That shit crazy. Yo, I would never have a, a, a crew or organization called the Die Nation. Yo, man, y'all should brand that shit. You know what I mean? Give out flowers to all the men. You know, the type of shit that y'all like. You know? But um, behind the bar... Keep my people's name out your mouth. Watch your mouth, boy. Oh, you can't watch it. I'm sorry. 
Hassan Campbell's dick is in your mouth. My bad. All right, cool. cool. All right. Um, shout out to the donation. I see Andre Obama just blessed me with a donation. I appreciate that. You already know what time it is, my guy, Andre Obama in the motherfucking building. Make some noise. Andre Obama don't like showing money like a little boy, but you owe like eyesight. Um, and Pamela J, um, last night I received a donation out of nowhere from her yesterday. So I appreciate the donation from Pamela J. I don't know if you're in the bushes or what, but thank you for a, just a random donation yesterday. That always uh, is appreciated as well. You already know what time it is, man. You find something real quick. What's going on with this? Oh, yeah. How about you give my cash out? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we in the building. We are in the building. I don't see him around here. Um, it is what it is, you know. I, I think he doesn't want to come up here because I don't know if he could really defend none of the shit that I'm saying. I don't think he can. Um, um, it's, it, he cried. Like I said, I, if y'all didn't see the video, I posted a video of him crying because he was, you know, pretty much jealous of Hassan Campbell's success on YouTube. You know what I mean? And he did a live, um, was it yesterday? And he was telling Hassan Campbell that he owed, that Hassan Campbell owes him money because he made Hassan Campbell. According to Ron Savage, he made Hassan Campbell and he wants a percentage of the money that Hassan makes off of YouTube. Y'all don't believe me? Pay attention. And none of them know you. None of them know you. You know what I'm saying? So stop it, man. Be humble. Be thank you. Be sting a major. Be happy. You know what I'm saying? And anyway, speaking about me making you, where's my cut, nigga? I'm your manager. <laughs> where's my motherfucking cut, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Where are my 20% of your money? You know what I'm saying? Since you paying punk dudes to, I ain't gonna say their name, but since you paying punk dudes, paying for security, where's my 20 cent? Where's my 20% for me making you? You know what I'm saying? Come on, nigga, you could never, ever clown me. And, and you talk about, oh, he's ugly, this and this and that. Nigga, only niggas that like guys judge another nigga looks, because I ain't never... I ain't never heard that shit. I don't be around people that do that. The only people I know that do that is you. And we know why. Everybody know why you judge men. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never heard me judge no men. Why? Oh, that's right. I forgot. I wasn't going back. Yeah, I wasn't going back and forth. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he wants 20% of... Every blood clot thing Hassan Kebab make on YouTube. They want 20% bedroom. Damn, that's extortion like a motherfucker. 20%. So that just proves my theory, ladies and gentlemen. That proves my theory of what I said earlier. He is jealous of the success of Hassan Campbell on YouTube because he feels as though he the first person that came out and told the world that he was died by Africa Bambada. And why doesn't he have the clout, the attention, the subs, the money that Hassan Campbell has? Does that not prove my point, ladies and gentlemen? Does that not prove my point? The nigga said he wants 20%. And then he tried to extort Africa Bambada for how much money? Let me see if y'all pay attention to the live chat because I don't want to be talking to myself. I, I I I laid out the receipts earlier today, ladies and gentlemen. How much money did Ron B. Stinger try to extort Africa being bought for, ladies and gentlemen? Let's have fun, because I want to make sure my audience is paying attention. Because if you're not paying attention, then what's the point of me even talking? It damn sure can't be my looks. <laughs> what? How much money was he trying to extort Africa being bought for? Anybody was listening to the story? <laughs> Nobody was paying attention. So it almost is like I'm talking to myself on these. I'll be on this YouTube streets giving y'all the information and nobody's listening. Nobody's listening. No, it wasn't 20%. No, it wasn't a dollar. All right, let me, let me, since y'all niggas don't pay attention, let me play it again since y'all niggas don't pay attention. 
I might have been drinking right now, and y'all niggas not even listening to when a nigga giving y'all the fucking information. Shame on y'all. At least yeah. I don't know if he did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then they came back to me after the phone call publicly come out and speak about it when everyone else, you know, they they didn't really come out and 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 say it publicly. And I can say I I can say I believe they didn't come out publicly because if they can offer me money, then so, they offered everyone else money. That's just my opinion. You know, because um, when I was on the, the, the phone call, um, you know, they was like, yo, you know, Beastinger, you know, I'm not talking about no five thousand dollars. I'm talking about fifty thousand dollars. You know, let's get a number. You know what I'm saying? So that was just to shut me up. So my thing was I, my response to that was like and they were saying that this was coming from Bam, that Bam just wanted the fire to go away. I'm quoting this on the tape. So they just said that Bam said that he wanted the fire to go away. You know what I'm saying? And name my price. Wow. So my thing was, I was like, oh, okay, name my price. All right. I want a hundred thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. was just, that was to shut them up because I know damn well that man ain't have that. A hundred thousand dollars. And that was to shut them up because I know they didn't have it. In other words, In other words, ugh, hold on, hold on. How, how can I just, you know, I'll probably need some, hold on, turn my head off. Hold on, I'm trying. In other, in other, in other words, uh, 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 this nigga, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga wanted a hundred. <laughs> oh, he needs God. some milk. This nigga said he won a hundred and hundred thousand dollars. But well, we can settle out of court right now for 50K, you son of a bitch. Hey. Right, if you got the money, a bitch can give. Huh? 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 I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. My, 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 my Terence syndrome is. My, my Terence. Ah, 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 son of a bitch. What's wrong with you niggas, man? Huh? Huh? Told y'all I'm the greatest, goddammit. Huh? Huh? I told you niggas. Nigga don't want to hit the link, man. What's wrong with this nigga, man? Stop playing with me, man. I'm the greatest! <laughs> Motherfucker won't ever hit the goddamn link. Talking shit. I got receipts for days on this nigga. Exposing himself. If y'all listen to this right here, right? Because since y'all don't pay attention, shout out to Mike Martin for getting the, the, the number right of $100,000. 37 people in the room and nobody remembered the amount of money he tried to extort the nigga for. But y'all, that's why I don't get the credit I deserve. Motherfuckers don't pay attention. Y'all niggas got such, uh, uh, what, what they call it? Um, low intention spans that y'all can't just sit back and listen to the facts. Anyways, he about to say something right now, and I want to see if anybody's going to peep game of what he's about to really, he about to really almost expose himself by trying to expose somebody else, right? He's going to say, basically going to say to Hassan Campbell, he's going to be like, yo, you just, he, got, he but he caught himself before he messed up. He was about to say, you were just jealous because I was out there um, and I was getting all the love from all the men and you wasn't. That's what he was about to say. All the I was I was getting all the love from the Zulu Nation men back in the day. And you just jealous because you didn't get love like I did. That's what he's about to say, ladies and gentlemen. You don't believe me? Don't believe me. Just listen, nigga. Fourth with A B. Why? Tell us why. You never say why. The only reason I will go back and forth to a female house is because I like the pussy. What did you like? Fuck out of here, nigga. Come on, man. You went behind the bar. Yo, yo let me stop. Cause I'm, yo, I'm about to go ham on y'all niggas, yo. I'm about to go ham on y'all, man. So, yo, yo, Hassan. Stop mentioning my motherfucking name, bro. Because you've been mentioning my name since 2016. I, I, I'm starting to sink. I'm starting to sink. 
that you you mad. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, when I was younger, you know, I participated in shit. Fuck it. Everybody know. And I think you mad because you like, damn. How because <laughs> then I'll be just with myself. Let me stop. Let me stop. Yo, man, yo, son, you a clown in your in your puppet behind the bar. Yo, tell that nigga. Let me rewind that part a little bit, just in case y'all niggas didn't hear what he said. I want to rewind that shit. I want to c- catch up with he about to expose himself. Yo, yo, a son. Stop mentioning my motherfucking name, bro. Cause you've been mentioning my name since 2016. I, I, I'm starting to think. I'm starting to think that you, you mad. You know what I'm saying? Because you know when I was younger, you know, I participated in shit. Fuck it. Everybody know, and I think you mad. Cause you like, damn. How? <laughs> no, 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 don't stop. Don't stop, nigga. Keep talking. Keep talking. Don't stop. Why is he mad? Listen. Because you like, damn. How? Because <laughs> then I'll be just with myself. Oh, <laughs> if you expose the fact that you, went, you was enjoying all that love you was getting from the men over there, then you will expose yourself. All right, cool. Say no more. Say no more. As long as we have an understanding. As long as we have an understanding that you didn't want to finish that joke because in order to finish that joke, you got to tell him that you was enjoying those activities, ladies and gentlemen. Pay attention. But my link is dropped. My link is dropped. You stop. Yo, man. Yo, son, you a clown in your, in your puppet behind the bar. Yo, tell that nigga, tell that nigga he can come. I let him know the next time I'm at a club, right? And he can go in the bathroom since he on my dick. He can see my dick and put it in his mouth. You know what I'm saying? Since he wanna, since he wanna be up on me on 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 New Year's Day, who does that? Who sit there and make videos about another nigga? You know what I'm saying? On New Year's Day, don't you supposed to be with your girl, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Don't you supposed to be with a fucking girl? Behind the bars, I can't drop the link because there's, there's no link. There's there's no link. I'm not on StreamYard. But let me tell you something. Okay, so when I was on his chat, right, and I'm like, yo, drop the link. Let's talk about it. Oh, I don't know how to drop the link. I'm not on StreamYard. Here we are on Behind the Bar. As y'all can see on the screen and in the live chat, the link is there, ladies and gentlemen. The link is there. I'm still waiting. I see somebody in the back. I see somebody in the back. Mic check, white check, one, two, one, two. I see somebody in the back, mic check. Uh Uh-oh, here he goes. Oh, shit, that's really him. Okay. All right, here we go. What's going on? You can hear me? Yes. Yo. Yes, mic check. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, because the location that I'm at is... um, the internet is messed up. I don't know. I don't I have no Wi Fi or nothing. Mike, check. I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So I don't know how long this shit is going to stay because I have to use my backup phone. It's not my main phone. That's fine. What you got to say? But you can hear me? Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Oh, all right, all right. Just want to just want to say salute to you. Just wanted to say what's up to the chat. Let's go now. Let's go. I know I missed a lot, so I don't know what you were saying. All right. I said a lot, man. I said a lot. You can hear me? Yes, I can. I said a whole lot, man. You you have to be listening. You You said, no, I wasn't. I was busy trying to connect. You sound like a robot, though. 
Oh, okay. Maybe you want to come back out and come back in. I don't know. Pause. Nah, because I I just you know how long it took me just to get this. I don't know what's wrong with my other phone. All right, let's get to it. If you can hear me, why you why you so uh, why you why you and Hassan Kimber don't get along? Why you hating on him? Why I don't get it. Um, at first, you know, me and him we was cool. You know what I mean? And and I was rocking with him. And and then um, me and and Busy B started um hip hop movement, and um, at the same time, I was um I was getting therapy and seeing a psychiatrist and stuff. So she wanted me to to keep this stuff off the internet and um have it in a controlled environment, which was her office. So you know. And that, that's what I did. So she was saying that I need to take up a different hobby or something like that, you know what I'm saying, instead of um, dealing with it on YouTube. So, And that's what I did. So then I started doing um, hip-hop movement. And then um, what is this dude's name? Um, a flip, a flip, flip the script. Um, he had contacted me to go on to um, his show and I was going to do a show, but then I, I was seeing the, the nonsense and stuff that he was doing in his car and grabbing people and going, shaking them and all that. I wasn't with all of that. So I didn't do it. Right. So then, um, you know, Hassan has some slick words to say. I ignored him. Then me and Busy went on, um, uh, 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 Damn, what is this nigga name? I don't know. We went on another show, right? So he started acting a little funny and whatnot. So I was like, damn, why this dude acting money? He acting like he jealous or something like that. So when I said that, so that's when he went on his show and 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 started lying on me and talking about that I burnt down somebody's house and I did this and I did that. And and um from then on, I, from then on. I wasn't cool with him because I'm like, dad, bro, if you could make up all of these lies about me, what else you lying about? And then from there, we just did not get along. And to this day, you know what I'm saying? And while I'm busy going back and forth to Albany and um, not on YouTube, I heard he was being so slick with the mouth, you know what I'm saying, about me, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't even saying nothing about him. So then I remember one time, I went to 125th and I bumped into Sarnetta and um, yeah, I, I, I just flipped. I just flipped from holding it in all that time. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so um, you, I don't know if you've seen it or not. I was reviewing you and Doggy's Diamonds interview that you did back in 2016, and I was reviewing it right. And um, I, I have mm -hmm. a question for you. I have a question for you. You know, um, and I'm going to get straight to the point. You, t I want to know. Yeah, go ahead. I want to know what happened, right, with, with the relationship with you and your sister after you went and did what you did with her, with her uh, boyfriend. Um, I, that's like too far to remember, but I remember telling her. Um, I don't, I don't really remember what happened around that time, but I know um, sooner or later. I don't know if it was around that time. It may be. Had she had broke up with him? You remember she was upset with you. Was she upset? Like, did she feel betrayed by you as her brother? Um, that I, I that I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, at first she didn't believe me, but then you know what I'm saying. I, I, I kept telling her, you know, and and I kept telling her the the, the same shit straight straight out. So I guess that's why she broke up with him. Got you. T all right, today, how is your, you and your sister relationship today? Me and who? You and your sister. How y'all relationship today? Oh, we good. We good. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So I did a, a docu. I, I kind of did this um a video about you maybe like six months ago, and you seen it because I saw you leave a comment on there. And my argument was that according to the book that I read that you have, you have a book out right now, and I read a book, and according to the things that you were saying in the book. It seems like the timeline of when you was dealing with Africa Bibada, my argument was you was already an adult and you're telling me that you were younger than 18, right? Nah, let's just let's just 
get that clear. Let's just get that lie clear, bro. I don't know where you got that from. You probably got it from that clown ass nigga star. Um, because me and him don't, we, I don't rock with him because he's nothing but a liar. He's no better than Hassan Campbell. But anyway, um, the book, um, that book is half fiction and half real. You know what I'm saying? When I was doing the book, and, and if you don't know that, you know what I'm saying? I'm letting you know that now. But it's when you go and buy the book, it distinctly tells you that it's half fiction and half real. And if you want to know what age I was, I was 15 years old. Haven't moved from that, nothing like that. Yo, ever since I've been on the internet, I haven't lied to nobody. I'm being straight up, but everybody tried to make fun and jokes and this and this and that. And it's a serious thing. You know what I'm saying? When I came forward on, on Star Show, you know what I'm saying? During that time, I had stopped taking my pills and everything because I thought I was I thought I was better. And then, you know, I had broke up with this girl that I was talking to and I had really, really liked her. And when we broke up, I'm like, damn, man, you know, everybody, every girl that I had kept saying the same, the same reasons and the same thing. So I don't know. At that time, I just I just bugged out and um I started tweeting, um, you know, what happened to me at 15 years old. And uh, Star was the only person who, who responded. Um, and then the rest is history. But come to find out, allegedly, um, Star answered um, the tweet because he had a personal issue with the Zulu Nation. And for what was told to me is when Star was in high school, uh, some members of the Zulu Nation chased him from high, high school, chased him after school. I don't know if they beat him up or, 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 or whatever. And um, you know, ever since then, he had a grudge against the Zulu Nation. And that's what was told to me. Allegedly, I, I never heard that story before. Okay, cool. All right, so um, during your interview, I want to note to this day, right? You said you on your medication and everything like that, but during your interview with Doggy Diamonds, you were saying that you don't like uh, when females get too next to you and get too close to you and everything like that, and you said that you get limp dick when they get around you. Are you still having erectile dysfunction when you deal with females, or are you good in that department now? No, nah, like... Um... I just didn't like anybody touching me, not just females, like in, anybody, my, my, my parents, my sister, anybody. You know what I'm saying? It was like a weird, it was like, it was like a weird touch, you know what I'm saying? And I think only people who who been touched, you know what I'm saying, violated, can relate to what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody else, they probably can relate to that, but I just didn't, I didn't like touches. And um yeah, sometimes when I has when I you know have relations, it'll go up, it'll go down. You know what I'm saying? Because that trauma was still in me. You know what I'm saying? And and it's not a laughing matter because people, um, guys, they come up to me all the time. That you know, when I see people in the street, they like, oh, your bee thing up, blah 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 blah, and 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 they break down in my arms, man, and they tell me that um that they too was molested when they were younger, but they didn't have the courage to say anything. You know what I'm saying? And um, yo, yeah, man, that's that's what it is, man. And I, you know, I I just hope that you know. With me coming out and, and speaking my truth, that um, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it gives some type of comfort to 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 other guys and females, you know what I'm saying, that you're not alone and this just just this didn't just happen to you. All right. Um, earlier and like I said back in the interview that you did uh, with Doggy Diamonds, you said that you was off uh, offered five thousand dollars um to keep quiet, but you you wanted to, you wanted a hundred thousand dollars. Is that true that you wanted a hundred thousand dollars in order to keep your mouth shut? Um, let me let let me just explain that 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 whole thing. Um, because some kind of way that that shit got twisted. Um. My friends, you know what I'm saying, like that I grew up with for a very long time. Um, they knew that that these were my friends and that they could get in touch, get in touch with me. So when they called me, you know what I'm saying, it's not like like they don't those two were offering me anything. 
they had a message and they was relaying the message to me. They was on my side. And if you hear one of them say, you know, well, you was bent, you, you was, you was the one that was, um, that was uh, abused or something like that, he said. And he's like, yo, let's get a number. You know what I'm saying? They was on my side. They, you know what I'm saying? Because they knew me since I was a, a, a young kid. So when he was like, oh, well, let's get a number, say 100,000, say 50,000, say something. And so I was, so I was like, oh, 100,000. I said that because I was calling um, AB's bluff. I was calling his bluff because I knew he wasn't going to give that to me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, okay. So in a way, just being sarcastic, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's what it was. Now, my thing is, if I really wanted money, money or whatever, don't you think I would have took it? No, I was just being sarcastic. I, I just said what I said. That's because they only offer you five thousand dollars. Would you, if they had cut you a check for a hundred thousand dollars, would you have complied and just kept your mouth shut, or would you have still said something? It's just like I said. If I wanted that money, a hundred thousand dollars or whatever, I would have got that. I didn't oh. want any money. I'll say it again. I only said that because. I said that because I was calling his bluff. All right, if you want to give me 5000 give me 100000 I was just calling his bluff. I wasn't taking any money because that's not what this was about. If I was taking money, don't you think I would have took money a long time ago? All I wanted was to know what, you know, why this happened to me, like why me? That's all I wanted. I didn't want no YouTube fame like Hassan Campbell. I didn't want money like the other dude. I didn't want anything. I just, I, you know what I'm saying? Like me, myself, I'm a true, true, I don't want to say victim, but I'm a true person that deals with trauma. You know what I'm saying? I deal with trauma every day. And my thing is not getting money from nobody. I already have money. I, I, that's not what this is about. You know what I'm saying? This is about me getting better. This is about me finally able to, to do things that, that, that I was not able to do growing up. Okay, okay, cool. So what happened with you fighting for the law of the statute of limitation to be extended for, for victims, like uh, alleged victims like you? What happened to that? Because I know you was fighting, yeah. you was going to Albany, you was doing your thing, you went to Doggy Diamonds fighting for this, and all of a sudden... Yeah. Nothing happened, and you never pursued the the charges with Africa Ben Body, and you let a lot of people down. Yeah, um, you know, as you know, that um, that legislation passed, you know, and um, that's what happened with the one year window because we were able to um, to to pat to pass that law. What happened was it was a group of survivors. Be before I even came along, they was trying to they they were trying to get this thing passed ten years before I even came along. You know what I'm saying? And um, I had came on the, the tail end of it. You know what I'm saying? And they were happy that uh, that Ron Savage, you know what I'm saying? Uh, state committee member Ron Savage was was there with them and that, you know, something had happened to me. So that's what it was. I was part of that. Um, and it goes back to what I said. Once the window, the one year window passed, it's just like I said. I didn't want any money from this guy. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted money and if that was the, you know what I'm saying? If that was the um, agenda, you know what I'm saying? Like other people's agenda, then then I would have took that money. You know what I'm saying? I would have took him to court. That's not what this is about. And I told him, again. it's what about your, me getting what better. Your, what was your agenda? Just to expose him without no consequence? What was your... What, Whoa, what was your? You sounded agenda? like a robot. You say that again. What was your agenda at the end of the day? Just to expose him to the world of what he did without suffering no real consequences. Was that the agenda? Bro, you sounded like a robot. Hold on, let me try to. Can you hear me now? I can hear can you, you loud talk? and clear. Yes, I can hear you. I said, if that was in the agenda, what was the? If the money was in the agenda, what was the agenda? Yo, you sounding like a robot. I can't even hear you. Damn. Mike, check. Mike, 
Mic check, mic check, one, two, mic check. Can you hear me? Mic check, can you hear me? Mic check. Oh, this shit buffered out. All right, well. I don't know what happened, man. Hey, it is what it is, man. You dropped out. Um, hey, and you know, I had a, I had a few more questions for him too. I had a few more questions for you. There you go. Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. I can hear you. So my uh, one more question. I'm, I'm Say that off. again. So what's your issue with me with, with, with being cool with Hassan Kimmel? Why is that for you? You still sound like a robot, bro. Can y'all hear me good? All right, check. Can you hear me? I'm here. I can hear. You. I can hear you. Yeah, you said my check. I can hear you. But real quick, before you ask me the, that, that question, whatever, because I don't know what the question was, I just want to let people know when I be saying stuff about behind behind the bar and all that, that's just on my on my on my part, that's just entertainment. You know what I mean? I don't have nothing against this brother. Okay, I thought you really had something but go against ahead, me. Man. I thought you had something against me, but my, my, my question to you huh? prior was my question to, prior to you, I said what was the nah, motive? Uh-huh. But what was the motive at the end of I the day? I don't have nothing against you said the motive well, wasn't money. Damn, man, you breaking up. Ron Savage, you said the motive wasn't money. So my question to you then, what was the motive of coming out and telling the world about what happened to you? Hold on, I'm trying to get you back. Talk again. You said money wasn't the motive of why you exposed African men bonded. So my question to you, what, what was the motive? Oh, Talk again. Ron Savage, you said the motive wasn't money. You didn't want money from Africa Bimbada. So what was the motive? Why did you come out and tell the world about what happened to you? I'm trying to get the question now. I don't know what's going on. Obviously, it's his, his, on, it's his end. It's on his end. It's on his end. You know what I mean? Hey, man. It's a lot, it's a lot going on, ladies and gentlemen. If y'all can't, share the live, man. If y'all can, do me a favor and share the live. Share the live if y'all can do me a favor. Shout out to everybody in the room. I see y'all, man. Uh, I see you okay. All right, one second. I got it right here. One second. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. I think I got it right here. Are you, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Yeah. What's going on, Hassan? Not, you sound like a robot. What's up, Hassan? You sound like a robot. Hassan, can you hear me? Yo, yo. What's going on, bro? What up, what up, what up, what up? All right, right. Ron Savvy, can you hear Hassan? Talk, Hassan? Yeah, so... My whole thing is like this, right? Because I ain't come here to play with this nigga. All these games, all these lies, this nigga be telling me... Yeah, I bet. I bet. I bet niggas ain't gonna sound clear. Here's the here, here's the thing, right? With, with with this bitch nigga standing here. First and foremost, all that I took his story. I came out six months before him. I came out six months before him. When Ron Savage came out, I got a phone call. I was in the hotel. Yo. The niggas talking about killing you. This is what this is one of the soldiers, soldiers, soldiers that's down with the Zulu Nation. So now, because he came out the way he came out, everybody knew it was an extortion move. Mm. I never even knew who Ron Savage was. Mm. Let's speed it up all the way to today, right? We're gonna leave everything that happened from the jump the first time I flipped on no, from the jump the first time I flipped on Ron Savage. Is because I was fighting the whole Zulu nation and he was marching with the niggas mm. on Brooklyn Bridge. If it's on, it's on. Ain't no playing no in between middleman. But the reason why he was able to play in between with these niggas is because the niggas that he was dealing with, some of them was helping him try to extort Ben. Wow. This is where you hear this is where you hear the phone conversations from. You see them saying Mickey Benson, the same nigga that was talking to him 
He talking to me crazy. Mickey Benson got oh, the audio was up with Mickey Benson telling the nigga, nigga, you know you wanted it. Disrespecting him. Wow. But I'm sitting up there threatening Mickey, Mickey Benson. I don't care what he say, the role that Ron tried to play, Mickey Benson would never play with me in my face. I'll show you pictures with me and Mr. Biggs together after I aired out the Zulu Nation. I'll show you pictures of me in, 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 in the Zulu anniversary after I exposed them. Everybody humbled themselves. I went to the Zulu anniversary four deep. Shut the shit down. Shut the shit down. Then Ron came out. Then Ron came out six months later and turned everything upside down. My brother TC Islam died behind this shit. Got murdered in Atlanta. Now, my whole thing is like this, right? This dude that cried wolf, he done told the whole world that Africa Bear Bada hurt him, cried all over the internet, went on everybody's platform, put his book out, and now he's sitting up there talking about making records for Ben. Oh, now he want to be a. Now he want to make records with. When I seen that shit on his platform, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't know. That. And then gonna sit up. And then he gonna sit up there and say that all this shit with Ben was a misunderstanding. This bitch ass nigga just flagged my page two months ago. I'm a month and a half. He just. I'm about Ooh. to get over that. He just flagged my page and said, "I'm gonna tell you something, right? What they did was, you never seen Ron Savage going back and forth on the internet beefing with me, right?" Right. They put Ron Savage up here so that so he so so that me and him could go back and forth and then he could get the lawyer for bullying and harassment because he's a medicated nigga to take my page. And right. that's why you heard him when he was crying, oh, because of my disorder. He throws that disorder shit around as a weapon. That I told y'all in the beginning, this nigga is Kaiser Sauce. Wow. He don't talk about rape victims no more. All he talk about is a song Campbell. I don't think about this nigga. One day I called, one, one day the nigga was outside in, in Katona Park, right? With all that tough shit he be talking. I ain't say nothing to nobody on the internet about it. I get on the phone. Jerry passed the phone to Ron Savage. I said, when I see you, what's on? I'm on my way over there right now. I, I pulled up over there by my fucking self. When I pulled up, that bitch ass nigga was not there. Oh, wow. He was gone. Then he got on the train. He made a video on the train talking all tough. Yeah, because I ain't running from nobody. When I pulled up to that park, and he had a gun on him. Oh, shit. Why would Ron Savage, he, he pulled out a gun, and he showed my brother a gun. He said, yo, see, I'm ready for him. And he said, he's on his way over here right now. When I got over there, all the Bronx River niggas was looking crazy in the face like, oh, shit. Ron Savage disappeared like Houdini. He was gone. And I waited for the park to end for that nigga to pop out because all that shit you was talking out of your mouth, you keep on playing with me, Ron. You're playing with me. And the crazy part about it is if I knew you was going to be a Bronx from a day, if I knew you was going to be out there, I didn't even have to be out there. My little niggas would have washed you up. And you playing with a nigga. But you know what? The funny part about it is you don't see this... You don't see this ugly motherfucker playing with Ben like that. His his Yo, brother, me, his um... brother in law, his brother in law, his yeah. brother in law, his brother in law. Ben had his brother in law put dick all in his mouth. Ain't nobody put a dick in my mouth. Put dick all in this nigga mouth, but he's mad at me. Mm. I don't even mention this nigga. Then he on camera sitting up there fucking crying, talking about. Everything that I got, God punished your ugly ass because you put me in danger and this was a game to you. Now you sitting up there, you watching me with all of the rewards from your life because this is what you wanted and it didn't go that way. Now you just an ugly motherfucker sitting there looking stupid. I'm you like, a weak ass nigga. Yo, Hassan, um, give me a favor. Allow him to respond, please. I want to see y'all him let respond me, to all. Let me talk because y'all sound like robots. I, I, I can't really hear, but. For the stuff that I that I could make out, I I think I heard something about Katona Park. Let me let me break Katona. Can y'all hear me first of all? Behind the bar, can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Yes. 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 Now he's selective what he hears. Oh, okay. The, uh, okay, Katona Park. I was drunk out my mind. 
mad, mad junk, and I and I think Jerry and them can vouch for that. Now, whatever Hassan was talking about on the phone, I could tell you right now, I don't remember because I was mad drunk. All I all I know is I was sitting on a bench, and they told me that I was. Come on, man! This is crazy, man. This is crazy. And all he remember is Katona Park, right? Yeah. The game that the nigga playing right now, the game that the game that the nigga playing with all them threats. See, I'm glad you saved those threats though. Because when he try to sue me, we're gonna have that backdated. I want you to save all that shit for me. Because honestly speaking, I don't be watching this nigga. Mm -hmm. I don't watch this nigga. Now he buffering. Fucking playing games. I ain't got time to play games with him. Fuck Katona Park. Bottom oh, line to it is what is before. Bottom the line to it is explain explain why. Yeah. Explain why you trying to tear down my no, platform. You got me fucking flagged. You got me flagged. You got me flagged. You got me flagged, but you ain't do what nothing to bear. Oh, now he want to play Yo, stupid. That um, you, that flag you got me for bullying and harassment on YouTube, nigga. Let me um let me break let me let me let me break this down with our homeboy acting. Bro, I never flagged you. I don't even watch your channel. I don't know what I'm about right now. But whoever flagged you, go. Whoever flagged you, go tell them that. I never flagged you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you so two, two, so two weeks you, ago, I you, 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 so you didn't no, you didn't flag me, and you don't watch me. But you make a video about me damn near every day. But you don't make videos about Bam. Bam had Dyrone put dick in your mouth. He then had Guy Wong stretch your mouth all out, put dick in your mouth, but you mad at me. You don't say shit about him. You talking about making records with him, but you waging war on me, and you call him, and you calling me pussy, and you standing outside with Muhammad and all them niggas outside the club, and you talking tough with them bitch-ass niggas when I'm the one that protected Muhammad when he got shot. See, the problem is these things are right. These dudes, these dudes are sitting up there. You don't know me. But I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure somebody that told you already. No, see, listen, 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 man. At the end of the day, everybody sees you for who you are. And I don't even understand. Everybody sees you. No, nobody respects you. Everybody sees what you did with Bam. Nigga, that shit ain't normal. Damn. You act like you were some fucking child victim hero. Then you turned around and now you want to make a song with a fucking child rapist. And you got you got nerve enough. This yeah. uh, no, hold up, behind the bar, play the video right now with this nigga crying because of me and that Bam. I'm not even thinking about this nigga. This nigga made videos on the internet telling child welfare to take my fucking children. And because of that, when I see right. him, um, he listen. better be ready to get busy. Listen. 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 Let's, let's not even try to... <laughs> let's not even try to put that, that bullshit narrative out there, bro. But anyway, um, can y'all hear me? Advantage. People took advantage of what I say. <laughs> you mean Bam took advantage of you? You crying over me? Bam did that to you, nigga. I ain't oh, fucked you. Man. I didn't put my dick in your mouth. Bam did that to you, nigga. <laughs> um, a person that cries over the internet like you have gone, I don't think you should fuck. I ain't never cry over you, nigga. I ain't never cry over you. I ain't never cry over you. I cry because what you did to my wife. Cry over me. Now, with that, ain't nobody cry that. over you, bro. I was, I broke down about a, the 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 whole situation, but ain't get let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Nigga, you broke down, down crying, crying talk about I stole your life. You said I stole your life. That's what you're saying in the video, crying, you bitch ass I nigga. Never said you stole my life. I never, I didn't hear those words. I never said you stole my life. I ain't hear those words, bro. Don't, don't, don't. I, took advantage, I to took advantage. I took advantage of your situation. Is what you said. If it wasn't for your disorder, I took advantage, and now I got all the rewards that you wanted out of life. Okay, first of all, I was and it, and, 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 but you don't watch me, but but it, but it hurts you. Oh, you were talking about Star. 
I was talking about Star. Nobody was talking about you, bro. Oh, you, you wasn't talking about Bam. Oh, you wasn't talking. Oh, so Star don't watch you and Star don't talk, but you talk, but you're not talking about Bam, though. You're not talking about Guy Rome, the one that put the dick in your mouth. you talking about Star. you mad at the nigga that tried to help you in this situation. For a person that, 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 um, for a person that had, um, a, uh, a, 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 a dick between the legs, I wouldn't talk. Run. You know I mean? Until you can say that to my face, it doesn't even matter. But you're right. He did do that to me. But you know what? I took All my right, fight so to him. I took, not so only did I take team, my bro. fight. See, listen. See, here's the thing, Ron. Here's the thing. Listen, listen, here's the thing. Listen, listen. Nobody I, believed your story with your old ass. Nobody even believed your story. It, like, like Star and everybody else said, the story didn't have no wills until Hassan Campbell came back out. When Hassan Campbell came back out, Brother T came out. TC Islam came out. Ahmed spoke against Bam. And about, about 10 other witnesses came out on Bam Bada because of me. Nobody gave a fuck about you and you didn't like it. Because you felt like I stole your shine. I don't want to be known as the dude that got molested by African Bam Bada. But you did. I took my story down. You ran to the newspaper. You ran to the newspaper. And now, and now after your book, after anything else, after that settlement, after you took the bag, now you want to make records for Africa Bear Bada, and you telling people it's a misunderstanding. Well, behind the bar, the number one question you should have been asking him, what was the misunderstanding? The dick being in his mouth or the dick being in his ass? Mm. Um, check this out. Did you ask like him? Said, did you ask him when he put the dick in it? Well, listen, then hold up, hold up. The okay. bear never made me suck his dick. So when, when bear, hold up. So when bear put the dick in your mouth. It, was there a little bit of jism on the top of on the tip of his dick? Was that the misunderstanding, my nigga? Was that was that the misunderstanding? Because I want to know how there's a misunderstanding behind a nigga having two different niggas put dick in your mouth. Where's the misunderstanding, my nigga? Yo, you got the floor. You act like you ain't have. You act like you ain't have dick in your mouth. You act like you ain't. Nah, have never. Dick in your he never did that to me. He never did that to me. Yeah, right. That's what you tell and, the world. And you never, yeah, and, and, he never, he never, he never did. He never, so you I heard, heard different. different. I heard different. All right, cool. I heard different. But if he, I listen, heard, but see, here's different. the thing, right? I heard people his, uh, no, 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 listen, 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 listen. The question was, the qu listen, the question, the question was, where's the misunderstanding at? We didn't ask you about what you heard about me. I told people, I hold up, I told people. I told people what he did to me. So what he did to me was bad enough. We don't need you to paint the picture. What we need you to do is ask, how was it, how was it a misunderstanding that he put jism in your mouth? Where, how, how did that become a misunderstanding? A nigga put his pickle in your mouth. You, you, you said it's a misunderstanding and you want to make a music record with him. So you That's mean, what I what, thought. You, what, you, you just got, so, so let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. You talking Where's about the misunderstanding? No, answer mind. the question. Where, where is the misunderstanding? I'm not friends with Bam. I'm not friends with the Zulu Nation. I destroyed that shit by myself. Hey, yo, the whole Zulu Nation fell because of me. And now you trying to rebuild it, and you standing outside bars with these niggas. And the funny part about it is, I still talk to some of these niggas. They hate this nigga because everywhere they go, all they they call they being called gay. Their reputation is in the garbage, but he keep going around these niggas that want him to die. And the only reason why certain niggas is and a certain and a certain and a certain oh he don't think their reputation is garbage because nah, he's still cause standing everywhere around. I go, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, Zulu Nation get love. So I don't know what world you living in. I don't know what world none of y'all living in because everywhere we go, people's like oh Zulu Nation, Zulu Nation won't take pictures. Behind the, the bar, house. did you hear, did you not hear the we? Did you not hear the we? So now he's Zulu Nation again. Yeah, that's a question. Hey, yo, Ron, are you part of Zulu Nation? A hundred percent. Okay. All right. There you go. You got it. There you go. So, so hold up. So, you 100%. mean to tell me, Bam, Bam, so Bam Salute. allowed you to come back to the same organization. So, so Bam allowed you to come back into his home after he told everybody that you, 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 he a rapist. And that was a misunderstanding. And the only nigga he got problem with is Hassan Campbell. I rest my case.
Yeah. Ross Savage, is it true that you want to do music with Bim still? It's on his platform. You no, he wasn't. I was well, nigga, we downloaded the video. He's lying. Come on, he's, doing, he's lying. You don't play around like that. You know what I mean? That don't make any sense. Yo, just put it like this, yo. Hassan, you trying to you you saying all of this and all of that, but you acting like nothing happened to you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here. No, I'm, I'm not acting like nothing happened to me. No, I'm not. I'm not anyway, acting like nothing happened anyway. to me. That's a lie. Don't play world right. games. I'm not acting right. like nothing right. happened to me. I told the world what the nigga did to me, and you came out and repeated the same exact words of what he did. The same thing I said he did to me. You came with the same fucking story. Six months later, and now you Zulu all over again. I will never in my fucking life be a Zulu. That old washed up, the nasty washed up niggas. I will like never in my life. I, I, all right, we don't give a fuck if you can hear me or not. We know you playing games, nigga. You said enough right there. And the reality of it is, I don't never want to mention your name again. I don't even re want to remember that you existed because the reality yeah, of it is, so right now, right now, when you on the on the playback, you're here, yeah. motherfucker. The world don't give a fuck about Ron Savage. No, I can't hear what you say. The world, the world don't give a fuck about you. The world don't give a I fuck can't. about you. I can't hear, I can't hear what you're saying because it sounds like a robot. Let me get this out, though. No, Yo, let me get this out, though, because I couldn't understand nothing that you said. But I want to answer the situation with Katona Park. I was laying on a. I was we don't want to talk about Katona Park. Um, we don't want to talk about Katona Park. Don't nobody want to talk about. Don't nobody want to talk about Katona Park. Don't nobody want to talk about Katona Park. We ain't gonna let you control the narrative, nigga. First of all, nobody cares. You ran. You wasn't. You ran. Nobody cares about Katona Park, nigga. Talk about why the fuck. Talk about why you was a decoy the whole time. A decoy the whole time. Yo, you came out here to just you can you came out here to escort bear for that money. You got that fucking bag and you ran with it. Now you Zulu again. And you done tricked off all your little pennies with your broke ass on the little girls you be playing with. You know the little girls that you was playing with? Yo, that that that, that stardom that stardom got the footage. That stardom got the footage with you playing with them underage girls on the internet. Right, I seen the video, nigga. Really, really oh, but you heard that, right? But you heard that, right? Oh, you're not hearing nothing, but you heard about. that, right? Yeah, but you, you now you know what I'm about. talking about, man. Well, nobody got time to be playing with you, yeah. nigga. You a sucker. You a sucker. Yeah, it, it, and the it, reality, it, it, yeah. and the reality, you know, you know what, bro? You so you so soft, nigga. That I promise you, when I see you, I'm gonna walk the other way because you so soft. I, yo, my, my my bitch will beat the shit out of you. All that shit you talking out of your mouth, talking. Yeah, to, yeah. My bitch will be my dog. My bitch will beat beat dog shit down your leg, nigga. You the softest nigga that ever came yeah. out of the Zulu Nation, and you talking tough. The softest nigga, nigga. You ain't yeah. never like you ain't never you ain't never been part of the arm. You ain't never been part of the arm in the Zulu Nation. Yeah, and with T Max Senior, he gonna slap the. And with T Max Senior, he gonna slap the shit out of you. The only thing I heard was tough and slap the shit. I heard, you said something about slap the shit, nigga. I said, with, I, said with, I said with Max see you. I said with T-Max see you, be your brother. He going to slap the shit out of you. Shout out to T-Max. Stop putting words in his mouth. Shout out to T-Max. You want me to call him on the phone right now? So he can tell you. You want me to call him? You think the real niggas like what you doing? You think that do Bro, you I think? I even hear you. Do you think that T Mac like what you're doing right now? Do you think that the real niggas that you see me on the internet with, when you trying to tell people I don't know them? Do you think these niggas like what you doing? They don't like what you doing. Niggas don't like how you moving. You want me to call F on the phone so he can laugh at you right now? Damn, I can't even hear nothing this nigga saying. I'm gonna say why you buy that I shit. Hear I know. At the end of the day, ain't even nothing else to talk about because the about reality of it is. I know. You notice behind the bar, you notice what I said to him? I can't. That Star and Layla, when I said Star and Layla Rose got the tape with him playing with the little girls on the internet, I you, notice how, you notice how he heard that? Hey, yo, Hassan, I seen that shit too. He was doing some type of weird TikTok video with that shit. I seen that shit. You, you, notice, how, you notice how he heard that? Right. On the little girls? Always tricking the little girls? 
Yo, I cannot hear now. These niggas sound like fucking robots. Let, I know. Let, 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 let me, bitch, nigga. I heard Nick. I heard. Oh man, I can't. I, oh I can't. man, I, I, I know you can't. Just log out. Your face is horrible, boy. Stop tired of looking at it, nigga. Your, I, I keep telling you, but your face look like an finish, asshole with teeth. Let me finish. Finish nothing. Yeah, Get the yeah, fuck yeah. out of here. Let me shut let up. Me finish what, let me finish. Fuck out, out of here. What I did here when I was talking about. I wish I could. Yo, I wish I could jump through this motherfucking screen. Screen. Because this dude is trying to spread a narrative. When I was in Katona Park. Um, when I was in Katona, you want me? To, you want me to call man. Jerry on Jerry and Britt? You want me to call Jerry and Britt? You want me to show the footage? Cause I recorded when I went over there. You was on the phone with me talking tough, and Jerry said, "Poppy on his way." You called back apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I came over there. If your ass was in that park, you was gonna have to use that gun that you had on you, you bitch ass nigga. You was gonna yeah, have to like use I that said, gun. Um, you finished talking because I, I, you sound like a robot. I was talking about Contorno Park. I was laying on the bench, and then some of the black boys, they, they came over. They like, yo, what are you doing? Because the gap was exposed. There was mad cops out there, and the gun was exposed. So they put my shirt down, and they put me in a tent. And then they gave me water, and they like, yo, you that you got to go. You drunk, and you got a gap, and you, you having it out there with all these cops. That that's that's I mean that's what happened. That's so as far as you if you came, I don't know none of that, bro. Oh, so you didn't know that when you made the video talking shit about me on your way home from Katona? What you want me to pull that video up? You lying bitch ass nigga. Behind the bar, he got yeah, a video on the train. The yeah, he's somebody on the train. He just the he just left he just left Katona Park and he was mad drunk talking shit on the train. Cause he, they made the nigga leave. Cause I was gonna have a nice conversation with this bitch ass nigga when I got over there. All that shit. That, yo, let me tell you something. You gonna fuck around trying to play tough, trying to impress these niggas. You're wrong. The sad side. The sad part about it is with you. Part of me, I feel like, I feel like you working with the DEA and you trying to entrap me yo. so that the police could gun me down for coming Check to chase your bitch ass down. That's why I'm not even playing with you because I know the only yeah, job yeah, that you have right yeah, now, the you. only job that you have on the internet right now is to try to destroy my image instead of the nigga that fucked you in your mouth. The I'm only beef that you, you got, the only, the only, I don't talk about you. And I swear to God, I don't never want to talk about you again. You know why? Because to the world right now, they don't respect you and you're nobody. I'm a household right, name. Yo, you the biggest boy Nobody don't even want to watch you. Nobody don't even want to watch you. You the biggest fraud on the internet, bro. So let's stop it. All the lies. Listen, I tell you, I tell you what, right? I tell you what, right? I guarantee you one thing, right? I never, ever, 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 ever want to live your life. You will never fuck the bitches that I fuck. You will never own the house that I own. You will never drive the cars that I drive, my nigga. You will never have you mean the, the respect. House that girl owns? You mean a house that your girl owns? So you ten toes down now? That's what you talking about? You ten toes down now? No, right now, I could, I could, I could go on. I, my, you mean my wife? You mean my wife? Your wife. See, only little. Yeah. But hold up, but only listen, Ron Savage. Only little kids play games like that, saying, oh, that's your girl's house. That's what broke niggas do. This is my house. I've been living in this house for how many years now? Over 15? Oh, okay. okay. Over so 15. Right, right. Over right. 15. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, but you can, oh, but you can hear now. Yeah, I can. But I you can, can hear now. now. And, and, and I guess, and guess what? That million dollar life insurance policy that my wife has, that I have on myself that's in her name, that the million dollar life insurance policy, the, the the six, the five and six kids. Hold up, hold up, hold up, bitch nigga. Because when you try to play with a nigga like this, understand something, right? In a minute, right? Real, real soon. Just because of you, I'm in the process of buying more property. Because the difference between me and you, Ron, you tried to sell yourself as a movie. I didn't even put my book out. I didn't even write my book yet. But you want to know what's funny? I'm making more money than the rappers right now. I'm making five and six figures a month, but you sit up there talking about this is my girl house. Nigga, I made it. I'm rich. But you talking about this is my girl house. While meanwhile, hold up, hold up, Bob, 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 hold up. Meanwhile, you the nigga going to work. Give me all the work. You a working nigga. You work. And, what, and what, hold up, no check nothing. 
But hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I'm, not I'm, I'm not done. Listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not, hold up, I'm not done. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not done. First of all, right? Here's the thing, right? I had my house at three cars in my driveway before okay, let's you two. I'm not, I'm not done. No, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not done. I'm not done. And even if this is the first, let's just say this is the first time I ever had money in my life. Nigga, you're never gonna have money again. You're gonna die broke and ugly. I probably got more. Not money only than that, you. not 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 only that, not only I that. Got more but, I, than you. but but I, but I, but I guarantee you one thing too. If I died right now, you see the whole fucking world crying. If you die right now, nobody ain't gonna even say rest in peace. Nobody ain't gonna even remember you. And the zoo, the <laughs> same zoo niggas. Nobody ain't gonna even. Nobody ain't gonna even, nobody ain't gonna even <laughs> remember you. Nobody. Nobody <laughs> respects you. But Bro, behind the bar, so behind the bar, you, you so see so how I got into. You, do you see how I got into this nigga's skin, and now he hear everything that I'm saying? <laughs> but when you get back, to, yeah, but then when you get back up. to, well, man, I was going back in and now get the fuck out of here. I'm out of here. I ain't talking to this nigga no more because when you ask him the important questions, he playing this court shit. I told you he kinds of saucy. Bro, don't when you ask him, manipulation over here. Bro. When you ask him, don't no, you're playing, playing manipulation, manipulation and you gotta understand, son. When they play this video back. Cause now you can't flag it because you're on this platform. When people look back at this video, they're gonna see how full of shit you are. You running around with the same man that you said raped you, and now all of a sudden, bro, a broke bro, nigga, bro, a broke bro, nigga, bro. yo, bro, yo, bro, behind bro. the bar, exhibit exhibit number A. The man said, mute that bitch nigga. The nigga said, he said that I probably got more money than you. He up, he up, bring it back. Rewind. How you got more money than me, bitch nigga? You work a regular job where you're probably making about $30,000, $25,000 a year. I make that a month. Mm. So you telling me that you probably got more, you, you got more, you got more money than me because you extorted Bam. You extorted him. always have more money than You extorted, you extorted, you, you, you got more money than me. But you was living with Darone. If that's what you... And you was living with Darrow, and, and you set his house on fire, and you set his house on fire. You set Darrow's okay. house on fire. I know that because around the time, around the, around around the time, Darrow was really now. Hold up, hold up, behind the bar. Now, yeah. mind you, right? Darrow is the same dude he's living with within the last ten years. He set his he set his house on fire. Darrow is the same dude. That's the sister's own boyfriend that put his dick in his mouth. Oh, I was wondering who. So here's. So years later, hold up. So years later, no. he's still he's still living with Darone. He had a fallout with the, he had a fallout with Darone. He put he put Darone on blast because all of us know who he was talking about, right? Oh, yo. Check now, mind out. you, check right? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So so. But let's talk so about. He said, let's, let's, let's so talk he said. So he said. Hold up. Let's talk hold about up. This, Why did you talk about? Yo, yo, hold up. Oh, by the ball. You them. You them. You them. For other dudes to phone you. Let's talk about you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right, all right. So now we can start with the lies. What I'm saying is, because we can talk about that when we when we finish getting down to the nitty gritty. You, soldier boy, you set Dyrone apartment his house on fire because Dyrone did with real estate. Then you turned around after you set his shit on fire and he got in contact with the with the city people and let them know certain violations that Darone had in the house. So Darone couldn't go through the insurance company to fix his fucking house. But this is how this nigga get down. But keep in mind, I don't want y'all to forget because he don't want to talk about Darone. Now he's going off. You set the nigga house on fire. And I say this to show you this is how Ron Savage gets down. So when he's telling y'all that he has more money than me, when the nigga is a bum, look at how he dress. Look at how he move. He got more money than me. That explains why you want to do a record with Bam and he wanted closure with Bam. And this is on his footage. That explains why every time we go back into the real topic, the real reason why we up here, he says, we can't hear. I can't hear no more. I can't hear no more. I can't hear no more. Wow. Interesting. See, Nobody. Listen, Hassan, I never you, knew who Dyrone was when you all talking about him just now. So Dyrone is his sister's ex-boyfriend that he sucked off back in the day? That's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Dyrone. Oh, yeah. 
So that's so 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 he set Darum house on fire. He told the world he made me. Now, now here's the thing, right? If, if this is true, and shout out to Darum because I'm not gonna shit up on shit, shit on Darum. If this is true, so years after Ben made you suck Darum's dick in his dick, they did. They ran. They ran a train on you. Right. You still, you still was living with Darum. And you still was having orgies with him too, my nigga. That's crazy. That's so crazy. now, and when you talk about this real shit, that's why I heard the Bronx River. They said they been, let me tell you something, man. Niggas in Bronx River was scared to death of me. Stop playing. I don't know why he keep playing. You never seen nobody from Bronx River get on the internet and make a video about me. That's true. But what you do see, but hold on, but actually, but what you do see, you seen niggas stepped in the Bronx River. And the internet put that video up of me backing them niggas down, right? We had the Holy Bible, right? Did I look like I was scared? Nah. Not at all, right? Right. I just learned in that situation, I worked too much money to be playing in, in certain places where, where the niggas that really got a problem with me ain't going to step to me. They're going to whisper in the ear of the young boys. So if I hurt one of them young boys, the nigga that I got a problem with is still sitting in the cut. Wow. Ron Savage... Ron Savage is deflecting and he deflected this whole shit. Every time it was time for him to answer a question, he couldn't hear. But the minute I started getting into his ego, he heard everything I had to say.